Hey, I'm Keith with Intech, and we are here today and excited to show you the long-awaited brand new Blackwing product. This unit right here that we're looking at behind me is roughly 30 feet in overall length. It's an eight foot wide unit, weighs in right at about 6,000 pounds, and gives you about 2,000 pounds of payload capacity inside this toy hauler design. So this is a beautiful unit, really excited to show you all the neat, innovative things we've done on this product here. But the first thing we always love to show you is how we build them. So let's go take a look at one of our frames and what really sets an Intech apart. All right, so what really makes a Intech unique is our construction. So we start with a welded chassis, all made out of aluminum that we do here in-house at Intech. So we'll weld up our entire base frame. The sidewalls and roof then are a cage construction that's all welded together. Even down to every little door opening spot you see an outlet, it's actually welded into framing. So structurally, an Intech is gonna give you a much stronger build that's gonna be able to handle the demands of roads and abusive situations far better than your traditional travel trailer can. And this is what sets Intech apart from everything else you'll see out there. All right, back out here on the Blackwing, you'll notice the beautiful profile of this unit. All the way from the nice angles along the edges of the roof line there, powder coated trim all throughout. One cool thing we did with this product though, is you'll see this kind of wedge design front end. So one, it's gonna give you really nice aerodynamics driving down the road, but two, there is a ton of storage. So if we come up here and open this front compartment door, there's one on each side. You'll see there's a little motion sensor light in there. Huge amount of storage up inside this compartment right here. Directly down below us, we're gonna have our LP tanks. So it'll come standard with two 20 pound tanks on board. And when we get to the other side, I'll show you there's gonna be a spot where you can do a generator option on the unit. Moving down the side, our front storage compartment can work as two different ways. You can have it just as open storage, or you can option in our Intex slide out kitchen. So this kitchen, just a simple push to the lever, pulls out. You're gonna have a nice griddle on top here, and then you can also option in a refrigerator. So this would be a refrigerator with a compressor on board. You can set it to whatever temperature you want, all the way down to even freezing, and keep food cold out here on the camping side of the unit. Moving down the side, of course, you're going to have outlets throughout on the exterior. You'll also see we've gone to these really pretty uh, frameless windows that are a square design, matches the styling of the unit very well. They also have a really nice function because with a frameless window, you can open this up. It's actually just going to tilt out. And now even if it's raining slightly, you can still have your windows open and still move a lot of air throughout the unit. Up above, you're going to see a 16 foot power awning. This is a Gerard awning that is going to use the lateral arms. So we'll have no arms there to come down and touch the ground. It will have a wind sensor on board for you. So if it gets too windy, it's going to automatically retract itself back in. Further down the side here, you will see we have an exterior speaker. So from your interior sound system, you'll be able to pump uh, music into the campsite of this unit here. You'll also see these little buttons on the side. What these are for is there's a big table on the interior that you can actually remove and bring outdoors uh, into your camping area to give you a little more storage space outside. Coming around the back side, again, a nice big spoiler off the back end of the unit to help protect rain and water from falling directly down. Also aesthetically has a really nice look to it. Two loading lights up above that that will shine down on this ramp door when it's in the open position. We'll also have our prep for a backup camera up there. So it's a real easy, so unscrew that plate. The wiring's right there. You go onto our Intec marketplace and it plugs right in for you. Down below, even though this is a toy hauler with a ton of storage, we're still gonna have our two inch receiver. That two inch receiver is gonna give you 175 pounds of uh, weight rating. So easy to load even heavier bikes or heavier bike racks, you got plenty of capacity right there. Okay, coming over the roadside. You'll see here, these are gonna have vents. These are for the fact that it is a toy hauler. So you have a vent in the front, you can use it. You can open up a window or you can crack a vent in the front. And then also in the back, it's gonna allow your air to pass through. That way, if you have something with gasoline or diesel fuel in it, it's not gonna let those fumes build up inside. Further down here, this one is optioned with our 40 gallon fuel filling station. So fill this with 40 gallons of fuel. You're able to pump out directly into your machinery right here on the side of the black wing. Coming further forward, here you're gonna have your water connection. So this will be for your city water or to fill also with your fresh tank. This is gonna have a 90 gallon fresh tank on board. Directly above, you're gonna have your shore cord. So that'll be a 30 amp service on this unit. And then right here is gonna be a coax input. And that's if you have a satellite or cable at the campsite that you're at, you'll be able to plug in and this will pass through right to your TVs. 
Further forward, you'll have your dump area, and then directly next to that's gonna be your spray away system. So this will come with a quick release hose that just connects right into there. It's about 20 feet in length, so you can kind of get all around the unit with it as needed and hose down. Directly in front of that is going to be your sewer hose storage container. Um, above here, you're gonna see your hot water heater. This is a tankless system, so it'll run off of your LP system as well. And then above that's gonna be a ZAMP solar plug. I say ZAMP, but basically any type of solar panels are gonna plug into this and feed directly into your battery. Now this here does not run through a charge controller, so you would have to have a charge controller on your briefcase setup or whatever you used to, uh, for your solar panels there. Right in front of that, you're gonna have another nice large storage area. If you look in here, this one's very deep, a lot of room for storage, and this one will be storage all the time. On the other side, I was showing you, you could option the kitchen. No matter what, this one here is gonna give you storage from the outside. Back around to the front, I mentioned the generator earlier. So this will have a uh, 4.5 kilowatt generator on board. This is the NPS system. It runs really nice and quiet and it can run this entire unit. And for its fuel source, it's pulling directly from your fuel filling station. So if you option the generator, you have to get the fuel filling station, but it allows you to run your entire unit, charge your batteries. So even if you're doing lithium, you can get a much quicker charge here than what you're even going to get with your solar panels. All right, so that's a look at the exterior of the Blackwing. Let's jump inside and show you what we got in here. So immediately upon walking in, you're gonna notice a totally different cabinet design from us. One thing that's great about these Blackwings is we're not using wood in the cabinetry. We're not using wood in the floor. Your walls are all Asdale. We know this is a toy hauler. You're gonna be doing things where it's getting dirty. You might wanna spray it out. So it's basically a composite and or aluminum unit all the way throughout. But right off the bat, the cabinetry, absolutely beautiful for aluminum. One thing, it still has a residential look and feel, but your aluminum finish. So as you go across your uppers, they'll have hold opens on them. You'll have nice deep storage all the way across the top of your kitchen here. In your kitchen, you're gonna have a two burner sink or a two burner stove, I'm sorry. And then a farmhouse styled sink right here. Um, nice black accenting, gold faucet that comes with that as well. You're gonna have a microwave down below and then some storage all throughout. The storage is really nice on this kitchen. You'll see there's a big pantry area here up above with shelves on it and a lot of drawers down below there as well. Another great feature that you're gonna have in your kitchen, which is a new addition for Intec, is a solid surface countertop. This is a thin scape material that gives you again that durability and nice finish over a laminate piece for your counters. Over to my side, you're gonna see we have a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. This one will open and hinge both ways, so you can open it actually from either side of the refrigerator door, depending where you're coming from. And then down below will be a slide out freezer section on this refrigerator. Moving back, you're gonna see this nice big table. Outside, I had showed you some buttons that were on the exterior and mentioned a table that went on board. That's what this is here. This is an Intech made piece in-house that we design and build. But right here, it's gonna give you a good storage from the inside snap these buttons into place and now you have another countertop space on the interior you're gonna have a 40 inch tv directly above that a little more storage up above depending how you option it so this one as we open it up you're going to see storage on one side over on the other side you're going to have access for your fuel fill station to show you how much fuel is on board the tank you're going to have, see this one's going to have our lithium set up on it with solar so this is going to be showing us where our batteries are currently at and that's an optional piece that we do. What the off-grid package, as we call it, gives you is it's gonna get 400 watts of solar, 200 amp hours of lithium batteries, and a 2000 watt inverter. The great thing about that system is because of the type of ACs we run with soft starts on board, you can actually run everything in the unit. Of course, when your ACs run, it's gonna drain your batteries very quickly, but it does give you the ability to take the heat out of the interior for a little bit on that off-grid system. On the back end, we're gonna have a full happy jack system. So this will have two sofas, and then it'll have a 20 or a 60 by 80 inch queen size bed up above. So your sofas can be in this position here. They're also gonna fold over into a bed design so you can sleep another two to three people down below. And then up top, this happy jack bed will actually lower down and give you another queen size sleeping space. So we have a lot of great sleeping capacity on board the Blackwing. So as you can see, depending on how you set up your happy jacks, this all stows out of the way really nicely, 
giving you a lot of capacity for fitting golf carts, even two-door side-by-sides, motorcycles, a ton of room in here. Now you're going to look down and you're going to see this nice flooring and thinking, I'm not going to store my dirty equipment on that. One neat thing we've done, these are rugs with a rubber backer on them. Directly underneath that is our custom extruded aluminum flooring. And it all has a nice anodized finish on it as well. So even when your rugs aren't on, you have a beautiful finish on the underside. And these rugs, there's one for the back area, there's one up in the kitchen, and then there's another one in your bedroom. So you can remove all the rugs if you want to and easily just hose this unit out. All right, coming back up here to the front end of the camper now, you're going to see a, our wet bath. Now, a lot of people get nervous when you say wet bath, but if you've been in ours, they have an absolute ton of space. So take a look in here. Large open wet bath, a removable wand for the shower. Even as you come down to the floor, you'll see a new wood mat that we're doing on the floor to keep you raised up above the water. So very well finished, very usable wet bath space. And by using a wet bath, it's allowing us to give you more storage capacity inside this unit without having to make it longer. All right, so moving forward into the bedroom. Now up here, you're gonna have a full queen size bed. Once again, another 60 by 80 sleeping space, a nice headboard design across the back end, a lot of storage all throughout. You're actually gonna have a little wardrobe hanging storage here to the side where you can hang shirts and clothes. Down below, you're gonna have some drawers and a little cabinet storage. And then over to our other side, you're gonna see cabinets all across the front and down the side. So a lot of great storage places in here. Also, you're gonna have a 32 inch flat screen TV. And then even as you look at some of the little details in here, such as we're gonna have accent lighting that shows throughout all of our valances that are a custom made valance from Intech. And then one great feature on board this is the obvious fireplace right in the front. Now that gives a really nice look with the lights going on it. It also does have a ceramic heater on it though. So you can set a temperature setting into there and use it to heat up the bedroom space inside the unit as well. And then also in your bedroom, so that way you can completely close it off from the rest of the cabin, you do have a nice sliding barn door that'll give you privacy from the rest of the unit. Earlier, we were talking a little bit about the air conditioner with a soft start on it. So this is gonna be a 15,000 BTU AC. Your controls are gonna be right here in your bedroom, always trying to make sure that the spot where you're sleeping is gonna be the most comfortable based on the temperature you're setting it at. It's also going to be a ducted system. So you'll see duct vents throughout the unit. Well, nice thing about a ducted is it's going to be a lot quieter than your direct blows. Also, we're going to get good even distribution of the air. And that's the same for your furnace. Your furnace will be a 25,000 BTU LP furnace ducted throughout your entire unit to keep you nice and comfortable. Now, if you're on those days where you don't need to run either of those items and you just want to move air throughout the camper, we have uh, 12 volt max fans here on the, in the bedroom area, then also back in the garage area. So you again, open your windows, you can pull a lot of air through. All right, so that's a look at the all new Blackwing. Thank you so much for watching this. You'll be able to get a lot more information by contacting your local dealer. Go to intech.com, search for your local dealer. They'll be able to give you pricing and availability on this great new model from Intech.